welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today as you guys can see from the title it is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. Now it is a mix of things. Some things are Valentine's related and some things are just random things that I decided to pick up. So I'm going to share with you guys everything I picked up during my trip to Dollar Tree. So I'm going to start off with a few snacks just because one of them I already opened. I opened yesterday and it's pretty much almost gone. I found a few snacks I wanted to try. I usually don't buy food from Dollar Tree other than like candy. If we go to the movies, I go to Dollar Tree and stock up on candy for the movies. But other than that, I usually don't buy snacks, but I found a few things that looked interesting. I read the ingredients and they were all simple ingredients. So want to try out. And the first thing is going to be these Choco Coconut Chips. You guys, these are amazing. If you have not tried these, you definitely need to try it, especially if you like coconut. I'm definitely going back and I'm gonna stock up on a bunch of these. I'm pretty much done with it. There's barely anything left in the package, but that is how it looks. It is so delicious. So it's basically coconut chips covered in dark chocolate. And the ingredients on this is very simple. It's basically coconut chips, cane sugar, dark chocolates, palm kernel oil, cocoa powder, and vanilla flavor. So it is delicious. I'm definitely gonna go back and stock up on it. So if you guys like coconut, definitely try that out. It's a really good sweet treat. The second snack I picked up is by So Natural. It's their apple freeze dried slices. I did see strawberry and one other one. When I checked the ingredients on the other two that they had. There were added ingredients that were just unnecessary. You would think dried fruit would just be the fruit. But the other one said it had like added sugar and like some other stuff. So this is the only one that I saw the ingredients was literally only apples. So I grabbed this to see how it tastes and see if I would like it. And if I do, I'll go back for some more just to snack on. So like I said, these are just some freeze dried apples. And then the last two snacks I picked up were these coconut like little bags. So this one is called coconut chips. It's organic. And this one has chia seeds, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds. And that just looks really delicious. And the ingredients on this is organic coconut, organic pumpkin seeds, organic cane sugar, organic sunflower seeds, water, organic brown rice syrup, and organic black chia seeds, and also sea salt. So those are all simple ingredients. So I'm hoping this is good because I need things to snack on. So I grabbed this one. And then by the same brand, I grabbed this one as well. And this one is just coconut chips, lightly toasted. And this one at the ingredients is even shorter than that one. This one is just organic coconut, organic cane sugar, water, and sea salt. So literally only like four or five ingredients. So I can't wait to try these. If you guys don't follow me over on Instagram, definitely go follow me over there because that is where I will be updating you guys on all these snacks and if they are worth the dollar and if they are good or not. If I like them, I'll go back and stock up or I will see if my grocery store carries any of these. But I'm super excited to try these two snacks as well. All right, now I'm going to show you guys a bunch of just like random stuff and then I'll show you what Valentine's stuff I got. The first things I'm going to share with you guys are two kitchen towels. I thought the quality on these kitchen towels were pretty good for a dollar. They're just simple white kitchen towels and then the bottom this one says engrave my kitchen seasoned with love and I thought that was really cute. I haven't seen it in any other Dollar Tree. This is a new Dollar Tree that I went to that I found it like at an end cap. So I grabbed one of these. And then I also grabbed this one, same thing, it's white, but except this one says just beat it. And I just thought the design on that one was really cute as well to put in my kitchen. So these two really cute kitchen towels I got only obviously for a dollar each and I thought that was a really great deal. Next is going to be this Polly Pocket little necklace. So when I was a kid, I used to love Polly Pocket and I thought this was really cute. It was only a dollar. So basically it's a necklace and it has like a little cupcake and then it actually has Polly Pocket in there as well. And I picked this up for Ryan's best friend. They usually give each other um, Valentine's gifts. So since Valentine's is coming up, I thought that would be really cute to give to her for Valentine's. So I grabbed that. So the next two things are gonna be shower related. And I just picked up these black tea bath bombs. I'm not sure, I've never tried this brand, but I thought I would try it out. Well, not for me, it's actually for my husband. My husband actually likes bath bombs and he's always stealing mine. So since Valentine's is coming up, I thought I can throw this in his little Valentine's bag that I'm gonna give to him. And this comes with three, so three for a dollar. And then for myself, I found this and I thought this was really cool. I don't know how well it'll work, but it's by Spa Naturals and it's an aromatherapy shower fizzies and it comes with four. This is in the scent Eucalyptus and Spearmint. Let me know if you guys have ever tried anything like this and how it works. I just thought that would be really cool to just put in my shower while I'm taking a shower and it'll smell delicious. I love eucalyptus and spearmint. So I'm going to try that out and hopefully I like it because for $4, I think that's a really great deal. So 
That's the next item I picked up. Next is gonna be a little container for Madison's school lunch. I like to pick up these containers from Dollar Tree for the kids' school lunch box. They're really cute and they love it. So I just picked up this one for Madison because she does have one other one. Um, I think it's frozen, but I just wanted to pick her up a backup one. So I just grabbed her that. And then I did pick up quite a few socks. I only picked up one pack for Madison just because this is the only one I could find in her size. And honestly, I think this would probably be too big on her feet, but I couldn't find one smaller in like a pack of three, but I swear the kids lose their socks all the time. So this is a pack of three. And like I said, it says size seven to two. So hopefully this will fit her. Right now she's in a size, I believe nine. So we'll see if they fit her or not, but it's just a pack of three and the quality feels really good. I have bought socks from Dollar Tree for the kids before, the Essie brand, and those are amazing. So we'll see how these work out. And then I bought myself some new socks because I was in need of socks. So I grabbed these women's athletic low cut socks and it comes with two white pair. And then I bought three packs of this one. I guess it's just the Dollar Tree brand, I'm not sure, but this one is um, the woman's no-show socks and this one comes with two pairs and they're white and gray and this one has stripes in the back I also picked up these with two pair one is like a leopard print and then the other one has a bunch of different stripes and the quality on these feel really good so I'm really hopeful that they will last so I'll let you guys know how they work out but this one comes with two as well and then the last pair I got were these and this one has just a bunch of polka dots and then some more stripes in the back. So hopefully all these socks work out because if they do, I'll definitely go back for some more. Now, everything else is going to be Valentine's related, I'm pretty sure. So the first two things I wanna show you guys is for the kids. My kids love to do anything that has to do with like arts and crafts, they are obsessed. So Dollar Tree is a great place to pick up craft items for kids. So I picked up these two little craft kits. They are pom-pom kits and one in pink and one in red. So it comes with six pieces and they can make like little Valentine's DIYs. And I thought that was really cute. So this one's red with like silver pom-poms. They do have like googly eyes on them as well. And then I picked up this pack. It's same exact thing except it's in pink and then the pom-poms are pink as well. And this also comes with six. So next item is for myself and this is a little heart wooden craft sign. And I thought this would be a really great DIY. So I'm planning on either staining it or painting it with like a gray chalk paint and then making it kind of like distressed. And then I thought it would be really cute to just place a little candle on top on my kitchen counter. So maybe I will film that, I'm not sure, but I just thought that would be really cute to add to my kitchen. I am going to be decorating for Valentine's this year for the first time, mainly just like my kitchen and bar area. So I just thought that would be a great addition. And then talking about DIYs, I did pick up a heart framed wreath. So I did make one of these wreaths last year, but I do want to make a new one this year. So I just grabbed a little wire wreath for that. I also picked up this sign that says love. It's red. And then the middle is a heart. And this thought that was really cute. I'm not sure where I'm going to be putting all this, but for a dollar, I thought that was really cute as well. And then I found this sign that says be mine, love you, sweetheart, XO. And then a cutie pie, this is also red with white lettering. And again, for a dollar, these wooden signs I think are great deals. If you guys don't like how this looks, you can definitely DIY it and make it your own. Flip it over, paint this side and do something else. But I really loved this one, so I grabbed this one as well. I found that this one that I am obsessed with, this is probably my favorite one that I found, but this one says Happy Valentine's Day with a little bike and a bunch of hearts. How cute is that? And then it has a little bow on the top. Again, I have no clue where I'm gonna be placing all of this, but for a dollar, that is a really great deal. The quality feels really good, so I grabbed that as well. So the last sign I purchased was this one, and this one says, love each moment in like a gold glitter. Again, really cute, I loved it, and I'll probably end up putting this one in my living room, I'm not 100% sure, but I just thought that was really cute, so I grabbed that. If you guys are interested, I am going to be filming a clean and decorate with me for Valentine's over on my cleaning channel called All Things Cleaning. The link will be in my description box if you guys want to go ahead over to that channel and check it out. But I will be filming a Valentine's clean and decorate with me and you guys can see all the decor and what I decide to do with it and where I place it. Then I picked up this little glass vase and it's just a glass vase with a bunch of different hearts. And what I'm going to do is put some flowers in it. So I did buy some of these flowers 
and I'm just going to cut it shorter and then place it in here and probably put it in my kitchen. I thought that would be really cute. I'll probably take some like burlap ribbon and tie it around here and make a bow or something, but that's gonna be one of the things that I put in my kitchen to decorate. Next, I picked up these color your own ornaments and they are just some wooden hearts and this comes with five. And what I plan on doing is draping this over my bar area. I'm not sure if I'm going to paint it or leave it as is. I do like how it looks just plain wooden, but I might go ahead and paint it. I'm not 100% sure, but I do know I will drape this on my bar area. And they did have a few other designs to choose from. I also picked up this set of three metal little words. This one says love XO, XO, and Valentine's. They did have one for fall, I believe. And I have to, what I plan on doing with this is putting one of the words over my wreath like that whenever I do make my wreath. I'm not sure which word I will use, but like I said, it did come with three different words to choose from. And I thought that was a great deal, three for a dollar. So. I did pick up that and then I also picked up these treat sacks. It comes with three and it has pink hearts in the center. And I usually always give the kids something for Valentine's. So I figured it has three. So one for Ryan, one for Madison, and then one for Ryan's best friend. And I'll just stick in a bunch of like treats in there for them for Valentine's. They also had this in red, but I went ahead and grabbed the pink one because I like the pink one a little better. And then I am gonna put a little candy bowl in my kitchen when I do decorate. So I just picked up some candy to put in that bowl and this one is the Palmer brand cookies and cream little pink hearts and then I also just picked up some Valentine nerds so I'll be putting this in a little candy jar or a bowl in my kitchen so the last few things is going to be all cards I love getting cards in Dollar Tree just because they're only a dollar some of them are actually two for a dollar so if you get just one of the two for a dollar it's only 50 cents so I don't like spending a lot of money on cards. People just throw them to the side anyway. So getting them from Dollar Tree is a great deal. So I grabbed this one for my husband and I love this one. It's so pretty. And this is by Hallmark. So it's a really pretty card and then just has a little saying in the center. So I grabbed that one for my husband. And then I usually send my sister, my mom, and my grandma cards throughout the year. So I thought this was a really cute card for my mom. And I thought that was a great deal. I think the rest were two for a dollar if I'm not mistaken. So I grabbed this one for my mom. I grabbed this one for my grandma. And then the last one I grabbed is for my sister. And all these cards are so pretty. And these were 50 cents each. And I thought that was a really great deal. So this one I grabbed for my sister. And that is the last thing that I picked up from Dollar Tree this time around. I am going to be stocking all my Dollar Trees for a while because I watched someone else's haul where she hauled these amazing organizing baskets. They look like baskets that you can get from like Home Goods or like Target and they were gray and it's really hard to find like really cute big baskets that are gray at Dollar Tree. So I've already checked two different Dollar Trees. I can't find them at those. So I'm gonna go to a third location soon and hopefully I have some luck finding them. So whenever I buy another good amount of stuff from Dollar Tree, I will film another haul for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's Dollar Tree haul. If you did, please remember to give my video a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.